Hello everyone. Um, lots of people asked me if I could do a video to show how I made the, the, the panel for this card. Uh, it was a bit of an experiment. I, I was using um, Indigo Blue Super Thick Slap It On, what a wonderful name, <laughs> which is actually a kind of texture paste. I hadn't used it before and I just thought I'd give it a go and to, together with with the paste I used some indigo blue luscious pigment powders um I'll show you what I did this is a new um stencil that I just got it's a Lavinia stamps stencil and I just love these sort of quirky looking leaves I don't know what they are but anyway let's have a go slap it on as I said is like a texture paste I've got a palette knife here which I'll just give a wipe um don't want to contaminate the the paste there we go and I've been trying a moment ago to do another one of these cards and I got in the most inglorious pickle um, what happened was I decided uh, yesterday that I would try to use some luscious powder to make a shimmer spray, which I did. And it's here and it worked beautifully. So today I thought, oh, clever, clever sticks. I'll, um, I'll do another one. And, uh, Put the powder in the pot, in the, the perfume sprayer thing. Um, put the water in, mixed it up, gummed it up straight away. No, no hesitation, just wouldn't work. So I thought, oh dear, I've put too much powder in. So I tried putting in the water first and then some powder, mixed it up. Same result. And I just... I just couldn't seem to, I couldn't seem to, well, I think I must have tried about four of these spray bottles and I gummed up all of them. Don't know what the answer is at the moment, soaking, trying to, um, try to get out, you know, the, the, the jamming up stuff. So now I'm just going to tap some, this is, um, Rapunzel. Little bit of gut it's sort of a gold Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair she must have been a blonde this this particular Rapunzel so I'm just going to pop some here and there this is actually quite a big expanse of uh, of stencil for me to use I'm going to chop it up anyway so intending to do a, something completely different I'm going back to the same stencil I used for my card yesterday and now I'm going to spritz it with this one and this one is verdigris. I actually should have used a bit of... normally in the in the ordinary way if I'm spraying I will put the spray into um, a spray box but because I've got it taped to the desk I can't kind of do that. So the liquid the water in the spray bottle is mixing with the dry powder that I put on and making it look at that wow it's so lovely now I'm just going to wipe this straight away because I don't know what the effect will be if I leave the um slap it on on for too long I don't want it to ruin my stencil so I'm just going to wipe that all off now I'll just leave this out of the way for a minute just to dry off a moment right there we go let's put that in the bin right let's have a little clear up yes normally as I said I would have done it in a I do my spraying in a, a box mm -hmm. just to keep everything clear but not having one handy now I want to try and get the rest of this Slap. The idea probably is you could just put it straight into a, a tub of water or something just to keep it from solidifying. Being a texture paste, it will set over time. 
So let's just give it another wipe. There we go. I can give it a proper, a proper bath later on. There we go. But isn't that a pretty design? So all it was, was the stencil and a bit of this slap it on, applied with a palette knife and then dry powder tapped on, which is the goldy bits here, and then spritzed with water and another powder together. If you've got a shimmer spray, you could use your, your coloured shimmer spray. That's absolutely fine. So all I did for my card yesterday, or yes, it was yesterday, was to cut a section. And what I tried to do just here was to stamp a little bit of text, just to give another bit of uh, interest. And I stamped it in a toning colour. I used this one, which is it was called rose gold. But in fact, it only showed up in some lights. So what I decided to do with this one was to just tap a little gold embossing powder on and heat sets heat set it. Cut it into a square, and then I used some PBO, PBO, whatever you call it gilding wax just around the edge of the square um i just think it looks magical doesn't it and this powder needs water to fix it so the fact that you've sprayed it with a water thing afterwards makes quite a bit of difference just here i have got a couple of watercolor um palettes and I thought I might do a little, you know, a little um, s splattering on the top. That one is a green. I don't know what that would look like. Let's just put a bit of water in there. And let's just see. I don't know if it's quite wet. Or is it blue? Let me just see what colour it is. Oh, it's... It's a, it's not quite the colour I wanted, really, I don't think. Let me just add a bit more water and then I, it might look all right as splatters. Let's see. Let's see what splatters look like on here. It's not wet enough. No, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that. I think what I will do is to perhaps try a bit of gold splatters. I wonder if that would work. Not washed properly, but in the circumstances we'll try it. Let's try the gold one. Let's see what the gold would look like. This is just watercolour paint. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Again, it's, it's adding tiny little things just for a bit of interest. Now, what I will do with this when it's set, I can't do it at the moment, obviously, because the, the, the paste is still... Um, a bit gloopy. So what I will do is to cut it down into a panel, use part of it to cut out uh, one layer of a butterfly. I don't know if I'm going to do the bottom or the top layer, I don't know which. This is a memory box butterfly. Add it to the top and then I may well add a little gilding wax to the edge of the panel, the edge of the butterfly and then perhaps add a sentiment. The one yesterday was this one, which has just said, feel better from um, Clearly Besotted. So that is the technique and it's really quite simple. Um, a panel, slap it on, 
dry luscious powder mixed with water and spritzed on, some splats and a butterfly. Hey ho! You have a greetings card. As ever, thank you so much for watching.